The next decision we're going to look at is the decision whether or not to issue a plan. This decision will only be made after the assessment's been carried out. And when it's completed, the local authority will either issue a draft plan or decide not to issue a draft plan. And if the decision is not to issue a plan, then the parent or the young person needs to be notified within 16 weeks of the date of the initial request. It's important that everybody who is involved in providing the information and advice as part of the EHC needs assessment is aware of this deadline. The legal test that needs to be applied when making this decision is set out in section 37 of the Act and it is where in light of the EHC needs assessment it's necessary for special educational provision to be made for the child or young person in accordance with the plan then the local authority must secure the plan is prepared and once it's been prepared it must maintain that plan. Just remember that necessity might arise where it's needed a plan to enforce the rights to ensure that the child or the young person can receive the provision that's required. So for example, there may be a situation where it's clear that despite a school or college having the necessary resources, that without a plan, the special educational provision will not be secured. It may be necessary in those circumstances. It's also important to note that you can determine a plan is necessary even in the absence of a clear educational program having been defined. At the point at which you make this decision whether or not to issue a plan, it may not be that you have the complete detail of what the content of that plan will be. However, it may be that it's clear that it's not necessary to issue a plan and at that point you would issue your notice of refusal to issue a plan. And once again, this gives right of appeal to the parent or the young person and the deadline is again two months from the date that that notice was issued or a month from the issue of the mediation certificate whichever is later. Once again consideration of mediation is compulsory but the child or young person doesn't have to participate.